Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT Smart Car Parking System. So, indication through the uh, Blink application. So, this can be accessed from anywhere in the world. Means from the Blink application, we can we can uh, came to know the which parking slot is available for car parking one. So, car detection will be done with the help of IR sensors. So, here these four IR sensors interface to the node MCU H pin number D4, D5, D6, D7. So, these four are the main inputs in our project. The output is as a inbuilt in node MCU, the Wi Fi module. So, from the Wi Fi, we are going to sending the slot availability and the slot field. So, that status will be displayed on this link application. So, this can be accessed from anywhere in the world so because as we need to provide the hotspot and data at this kit section end. So, it's a slot 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a previous data. When we switch on the gauge, that data will be stored on this application. And here we can see one red icon over here. So this will show the status of the device is offline. Means there is no live data available as of now. So coming to this IR sensor. So IR sensor model has the two IR LEDs. This white color transparent one is the IR transmitter and the black one is the IR receiver. So whenever we place an object in front of that, any object, the surface of this particular object will reflect the IR rays which are transmitted from the IR LED. And that reflected rays will receive by this IR receiver module. So based on that reflection receiving by this IR receiver, it will provide us the digital output. So if the obstacle is present, controller will get the Arduino uh, node MC will get the 0 if no object presents it will get the 5 volts so based on this differentiation in the voltage the control uh, node MC will get the information of vehicle presence or not so in real time we can go with the camera for real time detection of a cars so that we will get the high accuracy over there and here uh, so this is the breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply so here we are providing the 5 volts power supply from this adapter this adapter is for the supply for the IR sensors and this adapter is power supply for the node MCU as it will take the more power so that's why we need to provide the extra adapter. So this we are providing 5 volts input here and throughout this pre-CB we are distributing the 5 volts power supply to the rema uh, remaining 4 sensors. So before on the kit we need to enable the hotspot in your phone. So from that hotspot only the system will upload the data to the link application. So change the hotspot name to project 5515 without any space, without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and the next AP band should be 2.4 gigahertz. So these three changes very important. So off initially on the power supply to the our node MCU then we can see one device will be connected over here. So one device got connected and now go to the blink application. So there is no icon, red icon over here means the device is online now. So once we switch on the IR supply, then the live sensors data will be uploaded. Right. So while we are demonstrating the project, we should take care of external sunlight or external highlighting should not fall on the IR sensor module. Otherwise it will provide the malfunctioning means this one LED will show the status of power indication of the IR sensor and another LED will show the status of object detection. Right. So the second LED should on when we place the object. Without any object it continuously on. So we should checking whether the IRs are bent or external sunlighting is falling on this IR sensor module. So we should take care of that. Right. So this can be accessed as we discussed from anywhere in the world we can get the information in the Blink application.